Okay. So as you can see, I blocked off the hole to see if that was um, my idling problem. And when I blocked it off, the car did idle. And uh, you want to be careful because uh, this thing sucks pretty hard where the idle control valve is. And, um, and it gets pretty hot. So that was the indicator that the idle control valve was bad. And so I went and I took the idle control valve out. And um, before I take it out, you want to crimp these coolant line. Uh, there's two of them one that goes here that feeds in and that feeds back out so crimp that so you don't get a bunch of coolant leak and then uh, I cleaned out the air idle control valve and uh, uh, let's see if this solves the problem um, okay here we go we'll see if this fixes the surge problem Alright guys, uh, just the fans kicked on at 202 uh, from what the Honda said. Um, but anyways, cleaning out the idle control valve uh, fixed my problem. And um, I did do another thing. I did do the uh, brake cleaner test to see if they had any vacuum leaks. So make sure all the vacuum leaks uh there's no vacuum leaks because that is the number one thing that will cause your engine to surge and make sure you bleed the cooling system and uh and like i said so what we went ahead and did was we tested the idle control valve by uh putting the finger in the hole test and um and that was our problem so we are good to go uh man um shout out to tom chris and nick uh for help for helping me troubleshoot this and um we'll get this on the road